I'm Lisa Shanking, creator of the proven Kill the Diet weight loss system for permanent weight loss without pills, guilt, or ever depriving yourself. I always find it so interesting when suddenly a new food or new diet trend becomes all the rage. That seems to be the case with chia seeds over the past two years. So I thought I'd break it down and investigate whether or not chia seeds are the real deal. If you're like me, texture is just as important to you as flavor when it comes to food. Chia seeds have a pretty unique texture because they're tiny little seeds that expand up to 10 times in size when combined with liquids. Because of this texture, which makes them unlike any other food I've ever eaten, it took me a while to get used to them, but it was worth sticking it out and here's why. Chia translates to strength in Mayan and they were used in ancient Mayan culture as a food that provides tremendous sustainable energy and nutrients. High in fiber, protein, healthy fats, calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus, which are all great for bone health and strength, they're very low in calories. And chia seeds pack a powerful punch when it comes to keeping your healthy. They're high in antioxidants, which are those ever important ingredients you're always hearing about in lots of superfoods like berries and broccoli because they combat free radicals in your body. Free radicals are the dangerous molecules that can lead to diseases like cancer. Chia seeds are also touted as helping with weight loss. This is because their high fiber content absorbs lots of water and makes them expand in your stomach, leaving you feeling fuller. Plus, their high protein content also helps you feel fuller and keep your energy levels more even for a longer period of time. But eating chia seeds alone will not make you lose weight. You need a realistic plan that includes dietary changes, fitness, and home-cooked meals that you can prepare and know exactly what's going into them. But that being said, chia seeds are definitely a great addition for overall health. Getting back on how to incorporate them into your diet, it's pretty simple. They have barely any taste, so it's only a matter of getting used to their texture. I prefer them sprinkled in cereal or adding them into baked goods and salads but they can also be added into smoothies, sprinkled on yogurt, or mixed with water and turned into a gel. Although if you have issues with weird textures, this might weird you out even more. But they can be made into a yummy pudding for a dessert and also used to thicken sauces and soups because of the way that they absorb the water and expand. Check out my recipe below for my kale, beet, and parsley salad to start adding chia to your meal tonight. And please post any recipes you like to share with chia seeds that our community can see or visit lisashankin.com and enter them into our forum. I'm Lisa Shankin wishing you a happy, healthy day.